how we do washing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright there? <laughs> Welcome back guys to my channel and Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, welcome back, uh, Unbelievable in Kalgoorlie. So just a bit about myself, uh, I am Asian and people always wonder why is her English so good and what, how does this even work? So I am Chinese Cambodian, Chinese descent, great grandparents moved down to Cambodia. Um, had my parents who were born and bred in Cambodia. They then had to flee the civil war and fled to Thailand where I was born. Um, and when I was one, we got moved over to New Zealand. We got sponsored to New Zealand. Um, and I was still one-ish, one and two months. And we got to New Zealand and got, we lived in Auckland for a little bit for a settlement camp that they call it, I think. Um, or a settlement, it would have been a camp. So they had to teach all the refugees how to uh, live in a Western world, using a knife and fork, eating chunks of steak and chunks of lamb all to themselves. Um, what is this mashed potatoes? Um, what is a toilet? Oh my goodness, we don't, we didn't know how to use a toilet because Asian countries are all squatted, squatters. And yeah, and then we moved, and then we got moved down to Wellington where our sponsors were and sponsors they um helped us out a lot they settled us into our first home which was the uh, good old old school flats those four four unit flats those block houses we used to live in one of those and then my parents were hard workers and they moved us into our first home which they bought um, three years after moving to New Zealand and that was the home that I lived in until I moved to Kalgoorlie here so um, yeah, lived there since I was one and a bit until I was 31, so 30 years in New Zealand. And moved here to Cal, oh sorry, while in New Zealand I obviously studied uh, full education, primary school, intermediate, college, uh, uni, and uh, teacher's college. So uni I did a, diploma, a degree in marketing, business, just for my parents. I wanted to do teaching from the start, but they discouraged it and they said you need to go and do business like everybody else yay for me so I had to um, just go through with learning business which in a way is you know still good for me learnt a little bit about the economics and stuff that I probably would have learnt in college anyway but that's okay um, they only knew what they knew so went to uni and did that and then I went to teachers college to finally do my teaching diploma uh, graduated there in New Zealand I then got married and then I had three children who are full Asian and then I got divorced. Yay! Um, probably no regrets there either. I mean, we don't get divorced unless we really need it. Moved to Cal as a single mum with my three children. It was a bit hard, but I was very lucky because I had my friend of about 10 years who had moved here first and he had a spare room and a spare car for me to be able to use. So that was excellent. Uh, funny enough, hmm, he is now my partner of 10 years and he is the best guy ever. Uh, so lucky, we are, my children and I, so lucky because he has definitely looked after them like his own. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better, to be totally honest. Like, I always joke around and say he's my sugar daddy, but <laughs> he is not just a sugar daddy. I work too. Um, so... Yes, he has looked after my three children and taken them on, and I'm so lucky, I'm so grateful. And now we have our own as well, um, who is now nine. So, yes, he is very lucky. Yes, that's all I can say. So, yes, no longer a single mum. Four children now coming to Kalgoorlie here. There is definitely no regrets because I've been able to catch up on all of those what-ifs 
um, being here in Kalgoorlie. Yes, it is far, far away, but it gives me lots of money. And they say money can't buy happiness, but oh my God, it can buy a lot of easiness in my life. And you're old. I'll get into all of that good money stuff in another video. Um, but in this video, it's about what unbelie what is Kalgoorlie? Um, and a lot of you, like I say, probably don't even know what it is. So what is Kalgoorlie? We'll get into that, but let's just quickly have a look to see what Unbelievable does in Kalgoorlie. <laughs> I will be, don't you worry. So, change of plans. What? I didn't go to squash this morning. <laughs> but, but, I will be going this afternoon. So, let's get in the car. We're going to the movies now. So, what is cow gawley? Kalgoorlie is in Australia. It is in WA. It is a city famous for all the gold mines that it has available. There I've circled where Kalgoorlie is, where the star is pointing to. And to the left of Kalgoorlie, I'm also there just going to quickly show you Perth. where Melbourne is, Brisbane, Sydney, uh, Adelaide, Darwin, and just sort of show you the distance just with my nice little squiggly lines that I've going there for you. And then you'll see on the next map, uh, that's the city of Kalgoorlie, Boulder. You've got Kalgoorlie and then Boulder. That's joined up, so that's why it's now Kalgoorlie, Boulder. Uh, there's the airport. West Cal is where a lot of the mining jobs are at and located. And where I've circled there is sort of the main street of Kalgoorlie. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty close. Good game. Who won? I didn't win. Who won? <laughs> Mum won. <laughs> Have fun. Go, go, go. Where's your helmet, young lady?
Thanks for watching my first Unbelievable in Kalgoorlie video. Until next time, stay unbelievable. See ya!